Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. And, uh, well, we're going to get back on these Yamahas. At least, we're going to get back on this little 8 horse. Um, get it wrapped up. And then, I got another little something something I want to work on. Kind of an outboard. Let's get back on this little eight and uh, see what we got. Let's get to it. Unless I give it a little choke, so that means either them diaphragms in that fuel pump, which is common on this little motor, or the carburetor's just dirty. So I'm gonna have to pop the cobby on this one and give it a cleaning. What's interesting is this is an eight horse, and that carburetor. is about the same size as I have on my little four horse. And that's something. Yeah. That little guy there. Has a carburetor that looks just about exactly like that one. But yeah, she don't want to run unless I give her some choke. adjustment screw out a little bit. See what we get. Doesn't look really that bad inside.
pretty clean actually but she's got plug issues somewhere so there's my needles and we'll run a wire down in there wire in there okay so I got the car body all blown out and everything got all the jets I poked my little through all the little holes and I squirted some tri-flow through everything but what's causing this carburetor or what I find most often when they won't idle um, and you gotta keep them like half choke to keep them running the problem is normally this look how crinkled that diaphragm is can you see that see how crinkled up that is and that's what's wrong it's all stiff and crinkly like that and same the one this one ain't on the other side ain't too bad um, but that ain't gonna work so I've got the new one right here part number 6g1-24431-01 Yamiha so um, I still need to clean the bottom up the bowl and here's all my Yamaha I keep a whole box of Yamaha fuel pump stuff everything 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 that you're gonna need because I do a lot of these little yummy snatchers there's the other one I need right there um, So that's the one I need. You can see it's got the little square hole. And I don't need the rubber bone. And a wheel. Let's see. Will I need that? I think I'm good there. Okay, so let me get it all put back together. But yeah, just pay attention to the order they that things come apart. And get this old gasket. It's old crinkly. Crinkly winkly. Get him off of there. So, let me get it all put back together. I don't think you want to sit here and watch me screw this thing together. I'll be right back. Well, I was out running around on the lake, you know, had my Yamaha screaming fast as she'd go. I felt a sudden jerk, I heard a loud pop. That old outboard came to a screeching stop. I pulled the hood and oh my god, I saw chunks of block and a connecting rod. I'll get home, it'll be later. Gotta paddle back to the ramp, get her on a trailer, so I really love that outboard. And I really love my boat. But my old Yamaha gave up the goat. So I got her in the trailer, I put her in the yard. A week later and I'm still taking it hard. I guess I'll take out my gear. I'll drain the tanks. And when you pass by, I'll wave. You'll know me. Yes, you will. I'll be that guy standing there fishing from the bank. Well, I love that old hot board and I love my boat. But my old young heart gave up the go. Yeah, that old young heart gave up. That's all she wrote That's all she wrote She gave up that gold What do you say, Fred? Fred said, better get another outboard on that boat. He's trying to make a fashion statement. 
got a new cowboy hat. He's still miserable. Fret? Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. When you're going back up with these little eight Yamahas, you go ahead and put on the air box and get your bolts through it. You can hook up all the other stuff after you get her in. Okay. I use a little pick and I also take the uh, recoil starter off when I'm doing these and just get that stuff out of your way and we can hook up our little linkages of his and so forth stuff you know I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm just using a little pick and my big fat feiner because I got big fats Well, I know I'm gonna have to do something with this throttle cable and adjust it because it ain't it ain't right. But let's get her hooked up and see if she will at least idle now. Hey, it's me, Billy Ray. I'm the best commercial fisherman in the whole North. Territory. What do you mean you ain't subscribed to Cody Bass? You better get to subscribing. I come and I'll find you. And I'll fix you. And I'll fix you right. Choke. Throttle. <laughs> She's a runner. She idolates now. She is the runner. 
Let that smoke clear out of here. It's mokey. It's mokey in here. Little on the mokey side. Sorry about that. And that. Uh, it's some mokey. up a mile away in my pick. Now something I didn't show you, but I've showed it in many of my videos. When I'm putting them diaphragms in there, sorry, <laughs> it was upside down. Petroleum jelly. I put a little dab all over the little diaphragm. It thick and placed it. That's why I do that. I use a little petroleum jam. I don't use petroleum jelly. Petroleum preserves, perhaps. Yeah, put you a little, uh, and I changed both of them out because they, they were just crinkly and everything. All hard, stiff, they, they won't run. But get your little petroleum jelly, put that on there, and then it'll stick to the carburetor body or the plastic uh, fuel pump part. So, normally that's what it always is is the diaphragms when they won't idle, and you've got it. Well, this is for Yamaha anyway. Um, with the Yamaha, the fuel pump is attached to the car body on this model. And so, it kind of is my belief to me, me, because I, I do a lot of these. There's a lot of them around, um, and it's not just the eight. It's some of the smaller ones, even my little four has the, pretty much the same carburetor, um, and then some of the bigger ones. The fuel pump is part of the car body. and what I believe causes it, I've actually done a test to see if, if it it does do it and uh, what it is is those diaphragms being that they're hooked to the carb bowl body I believe when people spray starting fluid in the throats of these carburetors it takes out them diaphragms I've taken a diaphragm laid it on my sprayed it with the intake and I just sit there and watched it over two or three minutes just crinkle up. So you can't be using um, intake, carb cleaner, that kind of stuff on these carbs that have the fuel pump as part of the carb. Um, that's why like an OMC, if somebody shoots intake cleaner into its throat or whatever, the fuel pumps clean around to the back side. It's safe. Even though it's a diaphragm fuel pump, it's not going to travel that far. But in these, I believe, and like I said, I've done a little test where I squirted it and watched it. So I believe these things, they get hard to start, been sitting for a while or whatnot. I'll just get some starting fluid and shoot in there. And it'll, it'll fire over and everything, but then it won't idle. And you'll have to pull the choke on because the diaphragm crinkles up. You understand us. So kind of debating here what I should do on my next inch. I got another one of these eights and it's going to be the same process. So I was like, I don't think I need to film it twice because it's going to be the exact same problem. Um, it's going to be the carb and the diaphragms. So what I'm thinking about doing, I almost hate to. I got a couple routes I could go. It was raining here an hour ago. You can see everything's still all wet. But you see that big Yamaha 100 right over there? Um, I might start on that one. I got a guy that wants to buy it. Um, he's a friend of mine. And, but what I know about the motor so far, I have started it. Um, it does not run well. It's the earlier generations four stroke it has four carburetors on it all of which will need to come off and be cleaned 
it was not cooling itself so somebody went at the thermostat and snapped both thermostat bolts off that is no big deal I've showed you in past videos how I drill the holes and I would get those out um, they're not flush they are sticking up so I've got a good quarter inch to grab after I drill the holes and heat them but then it's going to need a water pump as well um, I had it hooked to a hose and you got to keep in mind your hose house pressure force feeds water into the outboard and I couldn't get any water to come out anywhere so she's plugged up and I know the engine has been sitting for years but uh, he really wants something like that for one of his boats and I said well I'll see if I can get that thing going and when it came in here the starter was laying in the cow pan and the starter bolts are long since gone so I'll have to source them what else we got hey hey I know you want to see me work on a Subaru Robbins incentric fuel gasoline pump what does all that mean it means they use that pump to actually pump gasoline if you can see the spark plug I don't know if you can see it but the spark plug in that puppy right there is intrinsic it's completely covered it's got like a pipe instead of a spark plug wire and then the, that is not the spark plug you're looking at that's a cover casing that goes over the spark plug and he says it's got no spark now I have to ask myself what's in that pump <laughs> is it gonna be full of gas but he said uh, actually that they only use that one to pump diesel fuel So, we got that. Then, that one came in. I might even start on that one next. Um, all he knows about it is that it's been sitting for a long time, and the guy told him when he last ran it, it would run for a while, and then die, and then it would start back up till it was cold again. And I said, well, what I think I'll do with it is, because I have tons of it I'm just gonna replace the two coils in the power pack right off the bat then I'll have to do a water pump and then I'll have him take it out and run it and who knows else what I'll find along the way so it'll be a journey then I got that same with that one if you look at all the dirt right around the right above the transom clamp handles and everything she's filthy looks good under the bonnet though that'll be a good seller so I'm not sure which route we'll go stand by I've got this Minn Kota trolling motor out of a dumpster and I hooked it up and it has four forward speeds to reverse but the head is broke off of it but everything works so I'm gonna see if I can come up with a fix for that I took this piece of pipe here hopefully you can see it and I stuck it down in this pipe then I had this collar I drilled through everything put a bolt and a nut in there and on the inside, I welded to that pipe that little T uh, cross piece. And then I put bolts through that with two nylocks and washers. So that ain't going nowhere. It's good and tight. Now I just got to put it all back together. I'll be back. There she is, all put back together. I got her hooked to my little battery power pack. You can see she's going to turn it swivel and all that mess. There's one, forward, two, three, and four forward. Four, three, two, one, stop. And then there's two reverse speeds. One, two. So, got a little trolling motor now. 
so that we can go trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep those fish a rolling. But, uh, yeah, it's all back together and seems to work. Sad that somebody chucked it in the dumpster, but I'm glad they did because now I got it. Okay, so that's going to be a wrap on this here video. Not 100% sure what I'm going to bring in next, but uh, I sure got plenty to do. Um, there's a couple more out there that I, I didn't even point out that need to come in here yet. But uh, So we got this little Yamaha squared away. Got me a free trolling motor squared away. And uh, so that's going to be a wrap. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boys with Cody Bass.